welcome to Fisticuffs first annual NFL Picks of the Week. Rah! Now I'm the Lions, Tigers, we're all going to the playoffs, we know we're going, alright, you know, that's what I'm saying. But anyways, no, I'm doing my first uh, NFL Picks of the Week. Now, I, I miss the Saints and the Packers game, but it's obvious it's the beginning of the season. Um, you know, you got an old ass team like the Packers, they're fresh the first week, they just come off the Super Bowl win, obviously they're going to win at home at Lambeau, no brainer versus the Saints, come on, the Saints just came around, I don't think they know how to handle success just yet, and you got a quarterback that is the, you know, uh, the keystone for his team, and I think once you get a, once you get a Super Bowl ring on your ring, it's like, once you get on your hand, you're like, well, whatever, so uh, I would have took this, I would have took the Packers all day long anyway. So let's get on with it. First weeks, first picks, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. So Pittsburgh at Baltimore. First week. Oh, yes. That's going to be a banger. So the interleague gameplay, minus two and a half. Went down to one and a half for Baltimore. Uh, they're, giving Pittsburgh, they're giving Pittsburgh one and a half points. I mean, how can you not take that? I'm taking Ben Roethlisberger, one and a half points. MGM is giving two and a half I'm taking that all day long against that old ass Ray Lewis defense. I'm, I mean, you might have Jay, uh, Flacco, but he ain't ready yet. Taking Roethlisberger with the experience and the three rings on his hands, done deal. Detroit versus Tampa Bay. Detroit is an up and coming team. They won the last four games last year. They won all the preseason games, even though they don't mean nothing. They're on a mission to stomp everybody's ass in the dirt. Defense, Silver Crush coming through. Gonna destroy Tampa Bay. Started out three and a half, went down to one and a half because everybody knows they're betting on Detroit. Take the one and a half, take it to the bank, put a thousand dollars down on that game. It's a wrap. Detroit's coming through hardcore. Atlanta versus Chicago. All right, Atlanta is in the same league as the Saints. They smell blood. The Saints just lost. They're still salty from two years ago, getting knocked out of the playoffs. They want to be there. So guess what's going to happen? Chicago, with their weak-ass leader, are going to lose tomorrow at Soldier Field. No doubt. Blowout. Oh, what is it? Two and a half? They're, they're, they're giving Chicago two and a half. I'll take, Atlanta's, I'll take Atlanta minus two and a half all day long. That's a blowout. That's like 14, maybe 21 to 7. Let's go on with Buffalo versus Kansas City. The only team that gave Detroit a challenge in preseason was Buffalo. Detroit was going hard. They are on a, They were sending a clear signal to the rest of the league that we are not going to be shitted on anymore. Buffalo and Kansas City. Kansas City was like, they didn't know how to handle success. Got in the first round of playoffs. Got knocked out. Buffalo, up and coming team. I think it's going to be a great matchup. But you know what? I'm going to take the home team. Minus five and a half. I think Kansas City still has unfinished business. Buffalo is just getting there. All right. Indianapolis versus Houston. In Houston, Texas is a state of football, even though their college team's fucking horrible this year. We all know Peyton Manning's not there. It's just the Peyton Manning show. If he ain't there, forget it. They're not going to win nothing. 19, 1989, Kerry Collins, whatever his name is, he's not going to win it for him. Houston beat him with Peyton Manning last year or whatever. They put the whipping on him. I'm taking Houston minus 8.5, giving the Colts. I'll even take that. I'll take that all day long. Give it to me. There it is. Take it to the bank. It's done. Philadelphia against St. Louis. Now, uh, it started out minus one, and then it flipped over to eight and a half. Uh, not eight and a half. It was, uh, I'm reading the wrong one. It started out minus four. Philadelphia was given four, and it stayed at four. So it means that, you know, people are just, they're not too sure about this. You know, Bradford is looking like a, the real deal. Uh, they're playing at St. Louis. Maybe uh, this is the game that turns it around. You know, Michael Vick. The question is, can the defense hold Michael Vick down and keep this a close game? If they can, Bradford's going to win it. I'm going to do, I'm going to make this is going to be my upset of the day. I'm going to take St. Louis plus four at home. All right, in the next game, uh, Cincinnati versus Cleveland. This is a no-brainer. Cincinnati does not have a team. They don't have nothing. The line went up from three and a half. To almost seven, everybody is t everybody is betting Cleveland. They had, uh, so you know, basically, it's going to be a blowout. Minus seven all day long. I'm taking Cleveland at home. Minus seven. This is a, this is a no-brainer. Cincinnati's trash this year. Tennessee versus Jacksonville. 
Eh, it's a pick em to me. One and a half point spread start at two and a half. Tennessee at Jacksonville, both losing ass teams. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and take the home team, Jacksonville, just because they're the home team. It really don't matter. It's going to be probably a really close game, like 14-7 uh, to 7 or something dumb like that. But I'm going to take the home team, Jacksonville. New York Giants and Redskins. Interleague game, New York Giants versus the Redskins. Obviously, uh, the coach for New York Giants still has a, he's got an extended one-year contract. He's minus 2.5 coming into the game. It went down from 3. That means everybody is... Uh, betting on the point spread for Washington. They think it's going to be closer than that. I'm saying it's not. I think New York Giants are going to blow them out at Washington. Done deal. It's over. He wants to keep his contract. Carolina versus Arizona. Arizona Fitzgerald. They don't pay this guy millions and bazillions of dollars for him to lose versus a no-name no -name Carolina team with a brand new quarterback. It don't matter who, who he is. If he pulls this game out, the dude's a badass. But it's not going to happen. Fitzgerald those guys have been practicing. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Arizona minus 7. It went from 3 to minus 7. So and you, you know everybody in the house is betting on Arizona. I'm still taking the I'm still taking a minus 7 to Arizona all day long. That's a wrap on that one. Seattle versus San Francisco. San Francisco minus 5.5. Uh, they're giving Seattle 5 points. I'm taking Seattle plus 5 all day in San Francisco. That coach is way better. I forgot his name. Come from USC. Way better than the... Way better than uh, this the, the coach for, uh, I think it was a Singletary, plus his team is better. I don't even know what they're thinking. There must be something. I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to go ahead and take Seattle plus five on that one. Um, Minnesota versus San Diego. San Diego, I mean, obviously Minnesota they just got Donovan McNabb. I don't care. He's not ready. I'm going to go ahead and take San Diego at home, minus eight and a half. I think they're going to beat him by, I don't know, 13. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take San Diego, minus 8.5 at home versus Minnesota. I don't care, Andrew and Peterson, whatever. He can, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, they don't, they don't have a quarterback. Dynamic McNabb, who cares? I'm taking San Diego. New York Jets versus Dallas. Dallas is coming to New York Jets land. This is pretty much a, a pick em. Two good teams. Uh, I mean, I really don't know what's going on with Dallas. We don't know if they're even coming out of the, what, what's going to happen with them. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Jets. They still got unfinished business. They're still hungry. I'm going to take the Jets at home, minus 5.5, giving it to Dallas. They got to beat them by 6 for the cover to point spread. But I'm going to go ahead and take the Jets. New England at Miami. Woo! No, that's a no-brainer. New England's going to come in there and slap the shit out of Chad Henney's non-throwing ass and little dinky, rinky, dink, whatever his name is, running back. <laughs> Patriots is just too much for Miami. I don't care. They're, uh, they're giving away seven and a half. You got to beat them by seven, plus seven to Miami. I don't know. Maybe I should take the seven points, but I just don't think Chan Hedy's probably going to throw like three interceptions. So I'm going to go ahead and take. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take New England minus seven. Denver versus Oakland. That's a no-brainer. Oakland is an up-and-coming team, just a little bit further behind Detroit, but better than Denver. Denver ain't got nobody. I'm going to go ahead and take plus three at Denver with Oakland, Maha Stadium. First game, there's a pick from Fist. First this week, booyah. And here's what I'm going to predict in the playoffs. I'm going to predict that the Lions will play the Packers uh, in the final to go to the Super Bowl. And then, uh, what is it, the AFC Championship, NFC Championship, whatever side that's on, I'll get it right next week. But I'm going to say the Lions. Lions are going to beat Chicago twice. They're going to beat, uh, uh, they're going to split with Green Bay. And then and that they beat, I think that uh, either Atlanta or St. Louis is going to come out of the West. And whether um, Detroit or uh, Green Bay plays them, one way or the other, those three teams in that mix coming out of the West, out of that conference, will wind up either playing, um, will wind up either playing Pittsburgh or the New York Jets for the Super Bowl. Those are my predictions. See you next week. It's your boy Fizz. Peace!